Okay, how are you doing? My name is um, William. Alright. Today you're going to read another part of our degree Deuteronomy chapter 9. Okay. Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day to go in and possess nations greater and, and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven. We go in tall, the children of the Anakims, who thou knowest, and whom hast heard say, Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand before this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over the before, consuming fire, and he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face, and thou shalt drive them out, and destroy them quickly. And that the Lord hath said unto thee, And speak thou in thine heart, that after the Lord thy God hath he asked him out before thee, and saying, For righteousness the Lord hath brought me, possesses the, the land. For the wickedness, for the nations of the Lord, drive him out from before thee. And not for thy righteousness, for the uprightness of thine heart. And do thou go to possess their land, the wickedness of those nations of the Lord thy God, do thou before thee, and to perform the word that the swore by, and to buy fathers and Isaac and Jacob. And I said before the Lord thy God, given thee not, this good possesses for thy righteousness. For thou art a stiffening people, remember, forget not, now before it is the Lord, of thy God of wrath the wilderness for this day that thou doest depart the land of Egypt until into the kingdom of space, for ye have rebellious against the Lord. And here you are provoked the Lord to wrath, so the Lord was angry with you to destroy you. And when I was gone up to receive the tables of the stone, even the tables company with the Lord with with you, then I bond them forty days and forty nights, neither did eat bread nor drink water. And the Lord delivered me, delivered me two tables of stone written the, with the finger of God, and when the was written according to all the words, which the Lord spake with you, and out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of the forty days and forty nights, and the Lord gave me two tables of stone, even the tables of, of the covenant. The Lord said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from the thence of thy people, and thou hast done came out of Egypt, and have corrupted themselves, and they are quickly turned aside out of the, the way which I commanded them, and they have made them a molten image. Furthermore, if the Lord has begun to be saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stigma of people. Let me alone, and I, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name out from other heaven, and I will make thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables covered over my, were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye, ye had sinned against the Lord your God. Ye had been a molten calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tables, and cast them out of two hands, and made them before your eyes. And I came down before the Lord. And the first of the forty days and forty nights, I did neither eat bread nor drink water, because of all your sins which ye sinned, and doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord, and to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure, wherewith the Lord warred against you to destroy you, but the Lord hearkened unto me at time also. The Lord was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him, and I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. I took your sin and, and the calf which he had made, and burned it with fire, and stamped it on the ground at very small, and until it was small as dust, and I can and I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount, and at the terror and the messiah and the cab broth and the 
Hanava, and ye provoke the Lord to wrath. Likewise the Lord stepped you from Kadesh Barney, saying, Go up to possess the land which I given you then, and ye, and ye rebelled against the command of the Lord your God, and ye rebelled him not, nor hearkened his voice. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord for the day I know and I knew that I knew you. And I, and I, and thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights. Nights I fell down because the Lord had would destroy you. I I prayed therefore the Lord, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with the, with a mighty hand. For the thy servants. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob look not unto the stubbornness of the people, nor the liquidness, nor to their sin. Last of land of wits, thou brought, broughtest us to stay, because the Lord was not able to bring him unto the land which he promised them, because he hated them. But he had he had he had brought out of the slay them in, in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest out by thy power, and and by thy stretched out arm. Okay, that is ending of Deuteronomy chapter 9. Next we read Deuteronomy chapter 10. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm to go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe.